What's up guys? This is Michael again with Frantic Boys YouTube channel. Uh, today, uh, it's been a couple days since I've made a video or anything like that. I just want to update you guys a little bit. Uh, for one, I made a little bit of B-roll video of the bike. Kind of shows off the sides and the angles of it a little bit better. So I will be playing that here shortly. Uh, also, um, just want to say... I made a video about day one for uh, moto camping, but where I live there was a fire ban and everything, and I wasn't going to go camping if I can't have a fire and stuff like that, especially if I'm going by myself. So that's been postponed. I'll be going camping now April 22nd, so I'll release that first part of that video a couple days prior to that, and then record the video while I'm out camping, and then that next Monday or Sunday or whatever, then I'll release the video of actually moto camping. Uh, I have had a few uh, inquiries, questions, comments um, about people asking about the process of getting the bike titled and everything. I'm going to make one of those videos right now, but it'll be a, the video after this probably. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, and again, I just wanted to say thank you for... All the subscribers, all the likes, all the comments, the support. You guys have really been like liking the videos and everything like that. And it's really encouraging to see people actually uh, like the content that I'm making or whatever. Um, and it's been a long time since I've made YouTube videos. So just trying to get back in the swing of things and uh, put out stuff that you guys want to see. And again, if there's anything you guys have questions about or want to see, leave that down in the comments below. And uh I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. And then, um, yeah. So another thing was if there's anything moto camping related that you guys may be interested in, leave that below and I'll try to record that when I do my moto camping series. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's get into the video today. Got a little B roll for you guys. So sit back and enjoy this little edit. So I hope you guys liked that little edit that I did. It wasn't super long, uh, but just kind of want to show off the bike a little bit. Uh, if you've seen any of my old videos, you'll see anytime I get a different bike, I like to do a little small edit like that. Um, but so I wanted to kind of start with a few questions that I've been getting. Um, that lens is dirty. Stand by. All right. Hope you guys can see me better now. So a few questions that I've been receiving um, have been one. How do you clean the air filter and stuff on this bike? Because there's not very many videos about that kind of stuff. I'll kind of walk you through that. And it is different than most motorcycles I've had. It is more traditional like dirt bike style, um, which I think is pretty cool. So essentially what you got is 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, and then you got to pull the seat up. I'll uh, grab the drill and show you that. Make sure this is think I got a 10 mil on here. Go ahead and take those out and then you just kind of I'm gonna try and do this one-handed here. So there's like a nub in here that you need to slide the seat out of or forward. I 
Actually, I'm going to set you guys down. So pretty simple, it just kind of slides out after you take the two bolts out. Uh, this is your battery here. Um, I want to say this, not the CDI, computer maybe, I don't know. And then this is your air filter. So as you can tell, it's kind of a cone-ish, traditional kind of your dirt bike filter. Looks like this is your, uh, an event for the, Maybe the cylinder head or something like that. That little hose getting a little bit of blow by or something. I don't know what that is. But <clears throat> probably need to clean that. I uh, ordered the stuff for it. I uh, need like cleaner and stuff like that. So you take it out and wash it real good and stuff. But I mean, I've got 600 miles or 500 miles or so on the bike and. The only real dirty part is just this little nubbin. And I ride 90% 90, 90 of my riding is dirt roads. So it's dusty and stuff. So not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Another thing that uh, people were interested about was they were asking how good these grips are uh, from factory or whatever. So got to remember, they're just Chinese. It's a Chinese bike, you know. So they actually... I think they feel way better than I thought they were going to. Um, they're not <laughs> they're not your pro taper pillow tops or anything, which that's usually what I run, so I'm going to be upgrading them. But uh, I had to cut this one. That's why you can kind of see the throttle tube a little bit just to get the bark busters to fit. But the pretty snappy. Uh, so that's good. Uh, another thing is people ask speedometer i've had people ask they can't get theirs to work or it's stuck in kilometers or whatever since day one mine hasn't worked um you might have seen on my writing video i could literally just be sitting dead stop and the thing will like jump from like 100 kilometers to 250 kilometers an hour and then two kilometers an hour it has no rhyme or reason something's not working there but there's no way to switch it to miles per hour at least I haven't been able to figure it out and it's not accurate anyways because it just jumps around so I don't even use it I have my phone that I just run my uh, GPS speedometer on but I did order a on I just pretty much went on Amazon searched uh, dirt bike speedometers figured they probably make those and it's just a small little uh, GPS it's actually GPS you know it doesn't require a plan or anything but it's got a, a GPS chip in there and it's a rechargeable battery it lasts like 40 or 50 hours on one charge and uh you just mount on there it's got odometer and speedometer on there so uh and it's got a thing where you like connect your phone to the app it's so, like if you're riding it'll show you the route that you did so if you ever want to like do a crazy cool route but you want to track it and stuff like that it's got that option on there as well um and like say you are going on a long trip through the mountains or something you don't have cell phone service or whatever while well, your gps does so your uh your wife or your significant other or whatever they can have the app as well i believe and they can see where you're at so like if shit ever hit the fan like oh well they've been sitting in the same spot for 12 hours you should probably go check on them you know uh so but uh yeah so speedometer forget it the thing doesn't work uh it's not worth the hassle for me to try to figure out how to get it to work um, anyways because GPS is a lot more accurate anyways. Um, trying to think what else. I've had a few people ask about uh, fuel consumption. I haven't done a test for it yet. Um, it's The weather's been kind of shitty. Like It'll get like warm like the other day, two days ago. It was 91 degrees. And then that next morning it was snowing. So like the weather's all fucked up right now here. So 
I'm gonna wait for it to get a little bit warmer and do a full day ride until I run out of fuel and just bring some gas with me or whatever. So, um, another question people have asked is how do the knobbies ride? And I'm actually super impressed with them. They're just, here, I'll show you. They're just some cheap Chinese knockoff, no name, whatever. And I heard and read online that they're not, that people are getting them and they're not DOT approved. But these are all, my tires are DOT tires and they're pretty knobby, you know, they're, but on like when I'm riding through town or something, they don't seem bad at all. The only really vibration stuff I get is because my front wheel isn't in true all the way, which that's something I'm going to be doing here tonight is uh, getting it put up on a stand and truing that wheel up. Uh, that might be another video. Honestly, I don't know if I'll make a video of it because it's really boring and there's, it would just be a time lapse of me doing it. So it's not probably nothing anybody really wants to watch anyways. Uh, if you do leave in the comments, maybe I'll make another video how to do it and stuff like that. Um, other than that, I other aside from the speedometer not working and I think that's it. That's the only issues I've had. Um, otherwise, it runs really well. I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed with this bike. So, uh, I'm kind of rambling now. Anyways, um, yeah. So, I just wanted to make a short video. Throw a little B-roll in there for you guys. Address the uh, air filter thing. Address the tires, speedometer, grips. Just a few small things that I can't really make a full video on. So, I wanted to put a bunch of those little things into one video. Um, and, yeah. So... Next video, stay tuned for that. That's going to be um, how to get it titled using your uh, the MSO they give you and the bill of sale. And then um, after that, videos after that will probably be um, moto camping videos. So stay tuned for all that. I'm going to quit rambling. You guys have a good night. Uh, until next time, peace.